This afternoon, I am reminded that over 45 years ago, we were in a situation that is not much different than today. Many of you are old enough to remember when President Nixon faced questions about his federal income taxes during a press conference call for review by Congress of his return, he said, in all of my years of public life, I have never profit, never profit from public service. And in my many years of public life, I welcome this kind of examination because people have got to know whether or not their president is a crook. He concluded by saying, well, I am not a crook. Even though the IRS wrote him a letter stating his return was correct, the investigation by Congress found that he owed almost $480,000 in tax and interest. The question that arose then and remain today are, first, should the public know whether a person who is running for the office or who is currently leading our nation paid the correct amount of tax? In the case of Nixon, the answer was yes. Second, it is fair, is it fair to expect the IRS to enforce federal tax law against the president, who is the head of the executive branch and has final control of the agency. In the case of Nixon, the answer was no. These and other grave questions require thoughtful and serious consideration. We have to do the right thing. We are called to do the right thing.